All right, you already know, ladies and gentlemen, there's a saint on your very, very screen. And today is one of those days I am very excited to be on the show because I have one of the most interesting people on the internet right now. In fact, the most vibing and what, what do I say? Are you are you the most trending thing right now on the internet? I can't you, say. You can't say, you okay. Find me in your way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so, Onyo Zizi. The beloved Lord. Yeah, I just have to. I just have to, or else you will not answer me. All right. Yeah, for me just, to have just... rang the bell for you, it means that you called me. Oh yeah, Correct. I love that. I love that. Okay. So today on the show, it's just going to be very interesting because all of your questions pertaining spirituality. I'm talking about African traditional religion. You know when. Uh, a lot of people have this thing about African and traditional religion. Today we are talking about it, and today we are trying to see how we, you know, answer some questions about um, the little challenges people are having about ATR. So when we talk about African traditional religion, let me even ask um, the question, Onyo Zizi, how and when did you find out that you have this calling? Okay. Um calling of every man is as old as the man because if you make a journey to the christian scripture mm. as a scholar i quote every source okay if you make a journey to the christian bible jeremiah 31 it says 29 11 it says before you were formed i know you and before you were born, I have set you aside for a purpose. Mm. So calling is as old as man. Because okay. right before you descended, and when they found out we you were. Okay. Our Iowa chose us and assigned the function that on arrival we take it up. Oh. Uh. Okay. Okay. So it was like um it's like something okay all right so you know <laughs> you know when, when when you talk in those parables you just get to understand that i'm a mere mortal you are with the gods no the, so, the, the wisdom <laughs> so of the we... gods are on, on us okay uh, so okay. Well, i wouldn't permit i wouldn't tolerate you talking down on yourself because uh -huh. now that's amazing no be lying though <laughs> all right okay <laughs> all right so um how long has it been in the journey of you know um, being a traditionalist? Okay, um, my journey has been a while now. Being born to the family of a uh, Roman Catholic, my father being the catechist of a uh, Roman Catholic, it was not a funny one. I came I from it. a home. If you don't go to block grocery, you will not eat that night. Wow. If you go if you don't go to Legion on Tuesdays or Thursdays, you will not imuna man battle again and my as a zinne as a winye kati. So I I made a song where I said mwa kati me chabure zemwa. So it's a, a challenging one but I I got to take it up myself when it was time for me to start exploring and living my karma mm. when I I was no longer dependent on my parents because that is where you start to start you start to live your life mm, true where your father's fate will no longer decide your own fate mm. but you taking your own karma facing your life so when I started living my life you put hand in this it's not working you put hand in this it's not working you have to go into search what okay. is going on? What is happening? So it's dated 2014, 2015, because that was when I now took it upon myself that whatever it is, I will take it up. So I now made founding, findings that um, I discovered from my mom. Because uh, Afa alone cannot tell you who you are. It's only your mother, your parents who created you, who molded you. That will say this is the life that i give 
Mm. Okay, so what was it like when you found out that this is your calling? That you know, off from the normal life that you've always had, you know, the ladies and all of those, the vibe. Okay. Because I, I got to find out that a lot of rationalists don't meddle in some affairs. No, and see, there let me tell you, let me tell you, you people yeah. are mixing spirituality and the restrictions and the list, uh, uh, limitations. Okay. Spirituality does not call for any limitation. Mm. It only calls for discipline. Okay. And being principled. Mm. Once you are disciplined, Ibulo Nyenze. Okay. Ibulo Nyenze. You already know what you, you are to do and what you are not to do. Because my journey, no, if anybody had told me to do anything, I wouldn't do it. But it, I convi it, the conviction came out of me that when I discovered, okay, from 2015, um, I had from my instincts, mm. you know, within me, you were that, that I confirmed it from my parents. Okay. So I, they said, you have to go into that again because you lost that track. Take it up again. Mm. So I started growing my dada that lasted for seven days. Seven years, sorry, okay. seven years. So see, these seven years, seven years of na as a Nazarite, and I took seven years of poverty that mm. I was going to beg for seven years. I was, that was to teach me detachment so that you don't be too materialistic while you are sojourning on spiritual paths. Wow. I like that part. So mm. now not just that, that personally, I also chose, I took a, a celibacy vow okay. because I needed to withdraw myself from the world. Mm. My celibacy vow started, it lasted for four years. Even after I broke the vow, I still maintained not mixing up with uh, in terms of inter sexual intercourse. Mm. All this was to build my spiritual uh, uh, py pyramid. Okay, so you, know, so you think sex has something to do with spirituality? Like it, it draws it down? Um, if you have uncontrollable sex mm. and... Um, a, a abuse if you abuse anything that you abuse is wrong okay. so uh, sex as a religion says is not what it is but then as someone who was building spirituality i don't know energy that could alter it, you know sex is like catalyst it mm. speeds up it slows down yeah so you don't know the person whom you are to mix your energy with the person may be so low the person brings you down Okay. So I didn't need that. Mm. That was why I kept to myself. I went. I, I I transmuted my sexual energy. Okay. And I use it to build a lot of things that I built within me, because I always tell people spirituality is about internalization. Okay. In as much as you try to externalize, you know, consecrating your crystals, consecrating your bracelets, in all those things, mm. try to internalize. So so while I was that's doing a, that that's I, a strong line. So mm. I needed to actually keep away from distractions as such. Mm -hmm. Not that sex is not good until I master the act of making love. Okay. Because uh, you have to think three things that can make you uh, um Con, uh, raise your consciousness in their head. I'm not advertising that. I'm not endorsing it because I don't take it. Okay. Meditation and sex. Wow. So these three things. Every other thing, drink, uh, drinking weakens your vein. It makes you unconscious instead of conscious. Mm, mm. You know. So, but sex is an the highest of all after meditation. Okay. You know because when you meditate, it's still the same connection with the human mind through telepathy. Okay. But when you connect with uh, sexually, it's still the same connection, but it's limited. Okay. It's only to the person you're having. So that was why I abstained mm. to focus. Mm. And um, the environment where I found myself, it was not helping. So I needed to stop certain things oh, so okay. that I can become a recluse okay. while on my journey. So how has it been? Um, do you Are you one of those people who do the very popular... Um, um, Okite, because I want you to talk about Okite for a reason. Okite has been a trend right now, and a lot of people, a lot of young boys, go carry those things with them. Uh, the, 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 the beautiful or the non beautiful part of it to them is beautiful, to other people, it's non beautiful because they might not just know what's happening, they don't know what this other person does. They keep it in you people's houses, like in the traditionalist houses. 
and then they do what they do. What would you want to say about that term or the, the okite? Okay, okite is just like every other ogo. Ogo is simply stimulator, stimulant. Mm, okay. Stimulant. And uh, when it is added in a, a higher concentration, mm. the outburst may be unbearable. Ndi Ibo say, Kamanga ato kanku. Kamanga abwa kanungo, kanto kanku. What does it mean in English? It means you shouldn't be faster than your shadow. Okay. You take time, you take life step by step. Okay. And when people go for what will stimulate or speed up their destiny, mm. I, it's not in my right to condemn or to say what is good or what is bad. I believe in everything is upon every uh, every action has equal and opposite reaction oh. so i don't say what is good or what is bad i tell people about the consequence of every action that they take now i'm talking about okite now hear me now it is a craft okay it is a craft that stimulates one's destiny speeds it up it's not natural Okay. It is artificial. It is an is a is a is a AI. Okay. Is that it's artificial intelligence mm. that has been crafted into certain arts. Or, or you would say artificial spiritual intelligence. A S I. Okay. A-S-I. <laughs> Which is ASE. <laughs> and ASE in Igbo means lies. Lies. Oh. So okay. I like We're getting I like there. your sense of humor, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so no, when you when you say when you know that this is not natural, mm. that is when you ask yourself, how am I going to end in this? And the worst of it is anything that anybody does that has involved your DNA, your consciousness, your vibration, your energy, the person carries it and put in a pot, stagnant, stinking, mm. stinking. Eh? Mm. And the person put it in his house. And you feel you are safe. You are not safe because you have wholeheartedly handed your life over to someone else who decides your fate. The person is human. One day he will be in luck, and you become an ob- a subject. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. A- example of that was uh, the time we had an issue with one of the um, big native doctors. Um, then that was they, kidnapped. That, that was kidnapped. So, and then he, just imagine if he had fifty pots. In his for house, 50 people, for fifty people, that should should be you know re- reactivated on daily basis or weekly basis, and then this person is not. All of them will just be dormant. Wow. The same way those things are dormant is how your life and everything happening around you will be dormant. Whoa! Yes, because now he will go look chicken at destiny. Tiny near all that thing was even stimulate. Is it? It's just like someone be on oxygen. Mm. When you are on oxygen. The nostrils has been connected artificially to be supplied air from the oxygen yeah, or whatsoever. Yes, yes. Now you can no longer breathe naturally. So imagine when the, you run out of the oxygen in the in the cylinder. So automatically you have cut short your life. I don't have to tell you that is a is a natural occurrence. Okay. So so what would you advise um, young people about it? Advice young people. <laughs> These young people, do they put food in the nose? Okay. <laughs> I, the, only, the only young person I see is myself. Oh, okay. I sit myself down and advise myself. Okay. Because the truth of the matter is that anybody who doesn't want to take his life easy, mm. Mm, anybody who chose shortcuts will cut short his life. Mm. Wow. So and we need people to cut short their lives so that the space will be enough for people like us who want to live everlasting here on earth. <laughs> yes, they are nuisance. Of course. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> Please don't cut your just just don't cut short your life. Don't mind don't mind doing your disease. He's just joking. Okay. All right, so uh, As w- what? Hacker, so yeah, my now. Oh really? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, of course. That's true. That's true. <laughs> no, no, now your body go tell you. All right. Now your body go tell you. Okay, so um a lot of people mistake what you do to be witchcraft, you know, evil, um, dirty, 
I wouldn't want to call um, a particular religion who is always throwing arrows or tantrums at other religions. No, no, I wouldn't want to do that now. But then I want to say, what, what do you think? You've got some backlashes. Sometimes on social media, when you would want to say, okay, let's do something like this. Let me pray for you. The person says, ah, okay, okay, you know, all those kind of stuff. So how do you, um, what do you have to say about it? What's your take on people, you know, cajoling what you're doing or talking um, bad about it? What I do is my life. Wow. And when you are living, people will talk about you. Mm. But if you're existing, people will not notice you. Amazing. So that's why I tell people, don't just exist. Leave. have life live mm. and when you're living everything you do becomes life because you are the one breathing life into every act you are portraying out there so my practice is a lifestyle that i have chosen and not just chosen that i am ensuring that it will be the one that will lead to evolution of the mind mm. and when you talk about african religion African religion has always been on revolutionary journey. Rotating, rotating. One people doing the same thing at all ages. Okay. Someone like me who has a uh, who, who is of this modern time. You mm. see me with my laptop, with my books and all, mm. you know. So <clears throat> that's a, a, a purpose I want to, that's a wish I have. When you look at me and I speak, You'll be wondering, are you really a native doctor? <laughs> now I, I am changing the narrative. That, that's amazing. That's, that's the truth, man. Uh, I'm, now, I'm amazed. So that's mm. why I said, what I do is my life. Mm. So the life I'm living is, it, my purpose is to change the narrative. So that when you say native doctors, you remember, oh, you is the beloved God. That sweet soul. That if you engage on conversations, you'll be filled with wisdom. Mm. That you engage me, and you are like, oh, wow, I thought this thing is filthy. Because there are certain practices. Every act expected in traditional practice is one man's innovation. And you must not follow all that have been done in African tradition. Mm, mm. Are true, you with me? So true. there are things that I don't do and there are things that I do. So if my way suits you, I will tell you, be far while you watch so that you can take your own journey. Onye mm, mm. So now, how people perceive whatsoever they perceive is because our religion, our tra uh, traditional practice has been bastardized not by outsiders, but by us who fail to live right. African traditional religion is basically on Trinitarianism, the Trinity. Of four organisms who could justice, fairness, and truth. Wow. Any other thing you're talking about, African practice is not it, apart from or, or fairness. Mm. What is fairness? Fairness is that we have a relationship. How are you treating me? Yeah. Are you treating me the way I'm treating you? Okay. If you're doing that, you are fair. Yeah. No matter yeah. how odd or how favorable. Mm. Mm. Justice mm. is, I did not do this and you are doing it. I'm justifiable. That is the uh, offer. Okay. Fairness is ogu. Then truth is that, okay, now you're doing this. Are you, did you acknowledge that you are doing this to me? That's the truth in it. It's, it's something that if it exists in every relationship, mm. we would do exploit. It's a, a universal thing. It's an objective law, not subjective law. So, wow. and that is where African tradition is based. And when I established Atmo, Atmo is a Afro Trodomistical Order. Okay. Afro Trodomistical Order founded by myself, established 7th May 2023, is a African traditional mysticism. Okay. Because I believe that if I had a fire, I can really find a fire. It's not about how we grew to see something, but how we discover things to be. Okay, so so you, you, you had to delve into spirituality, uh, spiritualism deeply, itself, deeply. Deeply, because life itself is a mystery. But you know, there's this thing Igbos will say, Alupuani, uh, But Don't you think, I, I wouldn't want to, I'm just asking anyways, I'm just curious, I don't know. But don't you think it's a little bit uh, like going to look for what you did not keep? 
Okay, let sort me of. let me tell you. Uh. Life wouldn't have been so sweet without curio- without suspense. Mm. Even though curiosity kills the cat. Yeah, exactly. Where I'm going. <laughs> the highest risk you should take is to be curious, to be inquisitive. Mm. You know when you say, "I don't know," it has immense possibilities that you want to know. Okay. When you stop seeking, you stop knowing, you stop earning, mm. and you no longer live. Yeah. Your nostril has never rested, even when you are sleeping. It keeps breathing in and out. Mm. What if it says, I'm tired, I, I have gathered enough? The moment you say you have gathered enough knowledge, the moment you say you have gathered enough money, the moment you say you have gathered is enough, you stop, you, the supply cuts. Exactly, that's it, that's it. So that's it. the more we seek, the more we grow, the more we develop. That is advancement. Mm. So I always tell people, people returning to African traditional practice, let's return with open mind mm. so that we can seek deeper beyond what we used to know or what was presented to us so that we don't limit our journey. Mm. So there are things on our I say, this is not according to our ancestors. I said, I will be an ancestor to my children tomorrow. So let me do according to me so that my people, will, my children will say according to our father. Wow. And the Yes. Yes. So that is mm. why we evolve. Look at technology. We we no longer use wire. It's now wireless, Bluetooth. Yeah. Now look at the advancement. Imagine the 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 pioneers of Mercedes Benz when they said, Okay, let's stop at the initial stage. You will not be struggling to buy Benz. Yeah, true, true. So true. the same way if African traditional uh, religion is made in a way that whatever that seems fetish mm. is removed. Are you with me? Yeah, sure. Whatever that seems fetish is removed. And the only way we can remove it is to be what? To be upright. To be upright? Yes. Okay. To be upright. Because um, it's not about... Don't do bad. If you do bad, you go to hellfire. We don't believe in hell with hellfire. We don't mm. believe in heaven. We don't believe there is a place you go after you are gone. We believe in Owasa. Owago Owasa. What's, what's Owasa? Good. Okay. Meaning, seven means perfection. Mm. It, no, it doesn't mean that you will keep coming until seven times. No, but on perfect to perfect time. Okay. Seven is perfection. So, Owago Wasab, until you start to do what? Pay every of your karma, every of your compounded karma that have had you here mm, mm. to this physical plane. Okay. Are you with me? Yeah. You are not supposed to be in this flesh. What? Yes. Why? Because there is a di- there are there, there are dimensions. So I uh, you, you're trying to say I could come as a goat. I could come as a thief. If you come to it as a goat, you are reduced. Even you coming as a human being, you are reduced. That is why you descended. Oh. So you we we walk to ascend. Ascension means going to a higher dimension that you don't need this body to survive. Wow. Wow. So, Owago Wasa, you continue to come until you pay every of your karma. I always tell Christians, if they don't believe in reincarnation, then they are hindering their Owasa. Because even Bible established reincarnation. Elijah, who came and killed the prophets, Ujida Naogo, Omerurana. So, and when he was to ascend, he, he was seized. When the charos took him, mm. he was seized for 400 years. But because he, there was grace and mercy upon him on, on his side, the prophet said, okay, that was a, okay, God said, according to the Bible, mm. we are going to send Elijah before the Messiah comes. Mm. So, and Elijah came as John the Baptist and he was beheaded. So he came. The, the, the beheading was him paying yes, pay, we, his, pay, ca- his, his karma. His negative karma, yes. Because Obuman mm. and Anamu were with So when he was beheaded, 
Tell me what Herod's daughter did with the head of John the Baptist. Nothing. So, but because he, she was used to fulfill Eli, uh, John, uh, John the, uh, Elijah's karma. That was why Christ, when he was mourning John, he said, of all that was born of woman, John is the greatest. He's a perfect man. Wow. So we are living to perfection. To perfection. Okay. And that is where the salvation lies, by okay. being upright. All right. So, so ladies and gentlemen, we're still with Onyo Zizi, the beloved Lord. Okay. And today we're talking about African traditional religion. And it's been an amazing expose, man, because I'm learning. And I hope you are, because my, my mind is just so open to learn and to, you know, assimilate. Okay. So let me ask you a question. Let's, uh, I think we've gone so much into the spiritual dimensions. I think I'm floating yeah, now. Like I'm trying around to. Around. Yeah, around and around. <laughs> so I now get to this point where I'm asking that question everybody will want to ask as well. Talking about the trend, Yahoo. A lot of um, native doctors tell our young people that Yahoo is actually right, that it is them re um, collecting or taking back what the white people has taken from us. For a long time now and we'll also make charms or we want to make uh, what, what do they call that thing yeah do as i say you know so that when they call someone on the phone and the person answers all of those so i want to say what's your take on it do you think it is really what it is or do you think it's just um a means of encouraging laziness and theft and you know vices what do you think people doing your work they're lazy these people don't sleep <laughs> yeah, to start true, with, true. Yeah. now, truth be told, mm. even the nature, even nature tricks us. Don't misquote me, pay attention. Even nature mm. tricks us. Okay. That's why you see adolescent, so a girl in adolescent age, all she wants is a, a man that will satisfy her. Mm. That is nature playing her. Because nature wants her to imbibe in natural in her natural endowment of becoming a mother and exploring mm. in her whatsoever life that she has come to live on to Obula film Ufo Yanaya. So that is nature playing trick on her. Because somewhere other fair age, you start hearing stuff like Mamu Kwama na Mapatalego. There are a lot of people that can't give birth again because when they were supposed to do it, mm. they think they were wiser. Now, what am I trying to say? Trick is natural. But then, it's Yahoo is to its extreme. Okay. Bringing me here is a trick. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. You have tricked me. <laughs> but at the I end of tricking ask. me, yeah. mm. is it something that will Worth be for it. the good, mm. that will harmonize, or something that will subject your fellow man to sleepless nights, in anguish, in sorrow? That's why I said they do it to an extreme point where life is even taken. Mm. You wooing a woman, I will give you the world. The world that doesn't belong to you. Is it not a trick? It is. If you woo her and at the end you marry her and you make a good family, has the trick not yielded? Yeah, it has. Mm -hmm. Is anybody suffering it? No. But if you trick her and at the end you kill her, did you see it? Yeah, it's so a wrong one. I tell people, trick. I, I serve a, I call on a god of trick. Equinsu is a trickster god. Okay. I invoke Equinsu. Mm. Are you with me? Yeah. So, and the only thing I tell myself is, let it not be an action that will get me indebted. But let it be an action that will make me what? Excel. Now, to hit the nail on the head, I don't tell people what is good or what is bad. I give people is, is illustration and consequences. And consequences. Mm. Now, but if you want me to say it pop and play, Yahoo is a crime against humanity. Is 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 stealing. Let's call it by what it is. Mm. 
But you when you call it what it is, then only the zuzu shagge mezi ifani mo nyoshi. Yeah. It's very simple. I got it. Mm. Just like you know, there are abon boy hobo. Yahoo is stealing. Okay. Now when you understand it the way it is, oyi ni zuzu shi manu oshi kia ni zu eme ihani mo nyoshi. That's why we have regulatory bodies, yeah. the government. And by the government laws, it has not been legalized. Yes. Mm-hmm. Are you getting it? Yes. In as much as we have certain corrupt practices in government, government is supposed to be the representatives of the subject, the objective laws. Yeah, true. I don't want to use God. Mm-hmm, it mm-hmm. can be anything, but mm-hmm. government is supposed to be the reflection of what objective laws, ensuring that anyway, if I napo obedient to the law adherent to the law so and these laws is what makes you not to rise as a wolf to your fellow human yeah so as long as the government has looked and looked and looked because government is just our culture our uh, uh, it's been inculturated every government of every people is inculturated that's why they will tell you there are certain things they cannot pass to law because it's against the law of the land mm, mm, mm. so as long as it's not legal it's not legit it's not a umbo, a blombo. now what if you bring it down the consequences of yahoo to our young people. Now, I'm going to you a boy. Oh, okay. Okay. That's, mm. but, but it means apprentice, apprenticeship, yeah. Yeah, the, this spirit of apprenticeship, Angugo, mm-hmm. something that we are known for. Yes. True. On the child day, I'm going to do it. On the child day, I'm going to do it. On the child day, I'm going to do it. boy. True. That's it. Now, it's not about the money that they give you, but the experiences that the organ passes through you. Mm, mm. The resilience, the hard work. The resilience, work. the hard work. That is why if you hit them billion, you can't put it in business. Because what can you do in that business? You don't mm. have the experience. You felt that it's money that it takes to run business. No. You don't know the ex- psychological effect, mm. the risk. Of making business simply because you went into Yahoo and duped someone of money and you want to put into the business. And you want your own to prosper. You want not just no, I don't want to talk about because if I should say Nizukui Hemari no man baluguru on our bakuru on kwando on our balu because if you are destined to be a thief, okay, get to where we blow our garanya. No, it's <laughs> okay. no, let's tell the okay. truth. But what I'm okay. telling you is that mm. the, the experience will learn now boy. In boyship, let me use the word. Yeah. I see why of my yeah. experience and what an abwa boy, you don't have it. And then there was no your first as a lawyer. True. Now look at how they want to make it look now. IT uh, uh, HK. HK group of boys will be in one room. They'll be subjected for months under Oga sharing percentage. What's life? What life? No, tell me what life is it? You grow in one side deadly. Mm. Imagine a plant that is being raised in the in the house. So also direction you angle the organaga. Because I'm with slow side up, I'm with slow side up. That's how they are. How put on a HK hang. Highest only I'm with go J go bends. True, true. And our young girls, I don't know if they are just a gibre and our young girls will go to butter. If we call up your name off man as a name a business and well as a bar call, Guinea gave you to up. A happy abasso. Then that young guy get a fuse or this a comma can no jig in garment on with the only fortune. That's a making a happy as a business or name. Then tell me the same thing. See, we have to take. Look, look, I am a good example of Ikeketolia. Mumma is a example of what you work. Is how you how you work is go, how you're gonna be paid, and that is why I'm not rushing my life. I always tell them, my mates, go into your Yahoo business, make hundred billion. I have an eternal royalty when mm. I sell my movies, when I sell my books, when I sell 
my all the content that I have created over the years and still creating. In short, where I walk into, you can't walk into there. Yeah, true. true. What identity are you gonna give? I mean, yeah, who boy you? <laughs> you don't have a sex. Yeah. No, see, let me mm. tell you, it's the alphabeto. Yeah, true. Whatever you're doing and it's not giving you a good name, how can you publicly say Abme Yahoo boy? No one can. You cannot. Mm. So as long as you cannot. Now imagine being a son of a Yahoo man. The psychological effect the children will face in school. Mm. What does your dad do? He steals for a living. Okay. Nice. Advance. Kidnapper. You eat close go lineage. Okay? Mm. See, closing down of lineage is not only when a man is important, but when a man fails to maintain integrity and dignity, you have closed down your lineage. Because even me, if I find out that this is a kind of life you live, I will disown you as a father and take another name for myself. Mm. 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 Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that's that's a very huge one. And okay, so we have a lot of other things to talk about. We are also going to on the next episode of this say it. Ah, we are going to talk about other very very interesting topics. I don't want to expose it now. Okay, let's just keep it till then. But today we had Onyo Zizi, the beloved Lord, and of your then, <laughs> and <laughs> of course that bell man, he raises it up. Okay, so. Lastly, before we close it, because we just we, our time is fast, very very sparse uh, spent. But then it is wholesome, was it amazing? Okay. <laughs> so today, lastly, for this episode, this particular episode, because of course, we don't catch him. We say we don't catch him. He's coming every time. That's now. the trick we are talking uh, about. Uh, the trick is working. In fact, this is a public trick, and we are we pass, we don't hold up. We say we don't hold up. Okay, so. Um, in, in the course of all of this happening now, would you want to advise anybody to come back to traditional religion? Lastly, before we go. Okay. Um, the truth of the matter is that um, I am not advertising for anything. Mm. Mm. I can only tell you, wherever there is life, go there. Okay. But then, while we are going for what where there is life don't forget the source of life that will make you think back home okay it's a journey back home because don't call the number mm. there is what we call earth force no matter how progressive or successful a tree can grow towards the sky if the root is stunted wind will blow it off mm. but if you have a tap root embedded in the soil, which is all dinana. No matter how the wind blows, you'll be strong. Mm. So, if you listen to this and you feel like, there's always a time after the first cultivation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it seems that the water has weathered everything. Yeah. You a wire jam re region you yeah. re region yes mm. so that is what we are doing okay re region making amends making certain appeasements okay we have fought, we fell out we denounced our ancestors see the truth of the matter is you cannot denounce your ancestors and you want your children to acknowledge you mm. 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 so it's just we want to make balance okay. of whatsoever extremism and when you are returning to tradition I'll adhere to live and let's live. Biri kam biri bu iwu di na di nana. Yeah, don't don't think you're just coming back to tradition to just pack money. It it, it doesn't work that way. Who is even like, talking about money? Yeah, yeah, that's no that's money. why there's that's no why a lot of people run. There's no wrong. money. Let okay. me tell you, these people that think that they're making money since they came to the nana, they simply use. In short, they just take advantage of people that don't know what they know. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's what most DBS do. Okay, all right. Are you getting it? Mm. So, and if you are feeding off from the pains of the people, but when you come to me, I'm not trying to advertise myself because I don't even give out my number. 
or more get what I get to me, more and more get what I get to me. But for instance, you came to me in a program in check it. If an agam no be bo, unya kwam bada, can you opportunity area? Which means I want to feed off you. Mm. Not a gay gun, Naloya, Naloya, and Jego Moto, Post Oya, and Sinambo Garanya. Odogu, he name, but you are only applying the principle of Ohashirism. Ohani Shiri Godiki Bogaranya. Test your destiny, make good business. Otone Dow Pocket or Nagami King Amudile. It makes me successful. Manabu no, no, Mado Nell or Lolo be him, Melmu, and Blogaranya. I'm only feeding on the pains of the people. I guess. Are you getting it? Yeah. So we should trade with caution. And my my pain is that our youth are not even returning to traditional practice. They are returning to you go go. No go ka na go zi. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, guys, for viewing. And this show is sponsored by CN Tickets and Events. All right. You can always go to our website and see what we do. Our website is right on your screen right now. And please, please, please follow, share, refer your friends to this, and we will give you more amazing quality content like this. Thank you very much for watching. Let's do this some other time. <laughs> Thank you for having me.